I actually started playing soccer first and then I had a growth spurt and so almost started playing basketball by accident. So I never really had these huge goals and aspirations to play basketball either collegiately or at a professional level. So my journey was a little bit different um, where I fell into it. Thankfully, being a part of Canada basketball so young helped me to get that recognition and to be able to put me in scenarios to develop the game where I was recognized to go to the NCAA. And it was actually playing for Team Canada in Argentina where the Notre Dame team was coming to watch a couple of my future teammates on the USA team. And that's truly how I started to get recruited by them and then play in the NCAA. And then the rest is kind of history from there. I remember when I went down with the injury, I knew it was something major. I knew it wasn't small. And prior to the injury, I was actually invited to go to the draft. And they typically only invite the top athletes or the top uh, draft picks to go to the actual event. And so I remember calling and saying, I just blew out my knee, I tore my ACL, should I still come? I knew I didn't wanna be sitting in the room and not have my name called just as much emotionally and mentally that I've gone through with the injury. I didn't think I could, um, really go through that moment. And they reassured me that no, you put in the time, um, you put in the work, the effort, um, the dedication throughout your entire career and your career is not defined by one moment. Good evening and welcome to the WNBA 2014 draft. I knew that how much I invested in, in my four years at Notre Dame that, you know what, you're right. I still wanna be able to celebrate this moment regardless if I get drafted or not. With the ninth pick in the 2014 WNBA draft, the Indiana Fever, select Nadia Achunwa from the University of Notre Dame. To still hear my name called with my family there um, was something huge for us. Um, and a first in our family, of course, and something that I will never forget, a moment I will never forget. So really glad I still went through with it. Tearing my ACL was something I wouldn't trade. Um, everyone, when you look at a, a rough moment or a tough time in your career, your life, uh, you always think, oh, what if that didn't happen? I wouldn't be the person I am today if I didn't go through that. Um, it really took a lot out of me, um, but also developed a lot in me. Who was I beyond the basketball court? I really had to ask myself, being out for over a year, having to relearn how to walk, how to relearn how to jog. Um, I wasn't allowed to put pressure on my leg for two months. So a lot of these things challenged me to look inside myself and figure out who I wanted to be off the court. And so I wouldn't trade that injury, um, that pause in my career for anything because it, it made me a better person. This is her first game of consequence in close to two years. Natalie Chung was going to be a player. She's got 10 points in her first WNBA game. Basketball camp is the only thing that, that brings love, that brings light uh, into your life. I'm a real big advocate for mental health, especially with athletes, being that we're always put in this kind of superhero mentality that uh, no pain, no gain, and to grind. And the reality of it is, on the court especially, you're not gonna be your best self if you're not your whole self. And that's not just physically, that's mentally. Um, and then also the, the mental aspect off the court is that there's so many more things that bring joy to my life than just putting a ball in a hoop. And taking the time away from the game reminded me of that. And not only in the injury, but now as I've taken this time off um, to have my son, it's also once again reminded me that life is so much bigger than basketball, as much as it has given you, as much um, as it's kind of expanded my life, it's great, but it's not the only thing. And uh, I really love these pauses in my career to be able to really love that and enjoy that moment. Natalie Achonwa could be something. She's really playing well. She is running the floor as well as anyone on the floor tonight. Legacy has always been a big one for me that I've never truly been able to define what I want it to be. But I think in the now and, and who I am, it's always to, to leave it all on whatever stage I'm on, whether it's on the court, to make sure that I, I left nothing in the tank and to make sure that I left nothing unsaid. You know me, I'm almost honest to, to a fault and uh, I think if you look back on my career you'll say that Natalie never quit anything and uh, she left it all on, on the court. <laughs>